Hello there guys and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for me to welcome you back to yet another F1 2016 gameplay, of course a commentated one at this time, this I do believe is going to be a 5 lap race around Interlagos or the Brazilian Grand Prix track in Sao Paulo, today we're going to be running as a mana. This was one of my first races on the game, I think it was like my fourth race, third race on the game or something, around a track that I know pretty well, and I thought we might as well try it out in one of the slowest cars. As you believe, we are Pascal Verline in the manor today, starting from 21st on the grid, of course, the manual start, the five lights are now off, and it's a pretty decent start, Marcus Ericsson getting an absolute shocker. We now go to the right there of Felipe Naz, we've got Julian Palmer there on the inside as well, he squeezed us out though onto the grass. We've got Kevin Magnussen and Gutierrez in front of us. So for some reason, we've got a warning for that collision with Palmer. That I can only imagine realistically was Palmer's fault. He squeezed us to the at the end of the day to the edge of the track. But whatever, we've got a warning for it. Felipe Nazar and Rio Harianto are going alongside us behind. We're just briefly there defending from the Brazilian in the Sauber. And after the first few corners, it's been a pretty indust uh, it less industrious. That's, that's not a word. Is that a word? I don't know. I don't know whether that was the word I was looking for. It's been a pretty efficient start, um, uh, is, is another way of putting it. And now we're going up the inside now of Jolian Palmer in the second of the Renaults in, the, in terms of the running order, the first Renault that we've actually had any sort of interaction with, however. And up into P18 then on lap one of this five lap race. Now sat in a Renault sandwich, a banana sandwich, because we've got Palmer behind. And Kevin Magnussen in front. In front of that is Gutierrez. Uh, then it's the McLaren of Alonso. We've got Hulkenberg in the Force India. The other McLaren of Button. I think uh, Roman Grosjean's at the head of the queue. Obviously on the first lap of this race, Lewis Hamilton setting the, the, the fastest lap because he's the first person to actually reach uh, the start-finish line. Uh, but obviously the pack is very close together because of the fact that we are only on lap one. Jolian Palmer, though, has dropped a little bit behind us. Uh, but we've now set Kevin Magnussen in our sights. To be honest with you, this manor is not all that bad. I think people who drive it will tell you that it's terrible, but obviously, in comparison to the manor last year, the 2015 manor was an absolute joke, especially on this game. You know, you'd have absolutely no way of being good whatsoever. Obviously, with R&D and career mode, you can obviously improve this car anyway, but it's certainly a lot closer to the manor's. The AI, realistically, the manners are always behind the Saubers, but in reality, it's not all that uh, far away. We are, though, lunging up the inside of Magnussen, and we've got it a bit wrong. We've hit the side part of the Dane, and we've had an excursion across the grass. That's very disappointing, because we've now lost out to Jolian Palmer and Felipe Nazar, and all the hard work that we did on lap one has unraveled, realistically, apart from the pass on Marcus Ericsson. We've got a good exit, though, out of that right-hander. Going to try and go right around the outside of Nazar. No, don't quite have the downforce to pull that one off. But then move to the inside for the final corner. Up the inside of Felipe Nazar at his home Grand Prix. And back up into P19. Now we've got to set our sights on the two Renaults again. We've obviously already passed Jolian Palmer. And then we've obviously got to try and pass Magnussen a little bit more cleanly this time. Felipe Nazar's thinking of a move up the inside of us down into turn one. But obviously no DRS on that lap. It has now been enabled because we're now onto lap three. And we've closed in on the Brit, Jolian Palmer, in the Renault. So we're going to try and take P18 from him. We've got DRS there, as you can see on the HUD at the bottom right. We're now into the DRS zone. We're closing in on Jolian Palmer, going up the inside down into what I think is, what, turn four. And through we go into P18 once again. And now we've got to, we've got to fully go on the grind. We've got to set the grind going because we need to catch Kevin Magnussen. We need to reel him in and we need to overtake him. Uh, in this Grand Prix. On to lap three, and it's the end of lap three. A lovely uh, lens flare as well coming from the sun there. I don't quite know what time this was in the daytime, or the, uh, the time of day editor. I think it might have been afternoon, um, but uh, there you go, lovely lens flare. Nevertheless, we are bearing down on Kevin Magnussen. Got to stop uh, focusing on the, uh, on the surroundings and the scenery. We've got to start focusing on making moves, and we've gone up the inside of Magnussen to take P17, uh, a position we should have taken a long time ago, but we made that big mistake trying to overtake Magnussen. He, though, has got DRS down towards the end of Sector 1, but he decides not to try and move around the outside, probably quite wisely in the end. And we hold on to P17 on this penultimate lap of the race. And now we've got a job uh, on our hands to try and catch Esteban Gutierrez in the Haas at the back of the train in front. That, I do believe, is being held up by a Williams. Uh, then there's a Toro Rosso by the looks of things, then another Williams... Uh, then maybe a Force India, 
And then all the people that I listed after that, Roman Grosjean is in there. Then it's Button, Hulkenberg, Alonso and Gutierrez. And now it's us, because already we've basically caught these guys. I don't know if I mentioned this at the start, I can't, I can't quite remember. Uh, but I'm on Expert AI for this race. I do run Legend AI now at this point as I'm commentating. Um, and for career mode and such. But when I was just getting my hands on the game, I wasn't really used to assists off or anything. Um, so I just wanted to, uh, to to sort of get a feel for the game without the AI being ridiculously difficult. Um, so we're on expert AI for this one. Hence why we've closed them up pretty damn quickly. Down into the fi into the first corner, sorry, for the final time lap. Five of five. We are pretty close to Esteban Gutierrez, but this car is so bad in cornering that its its excess straight line speed in comparison to its rivals is pretty much cancelled out. It's basically nullified because whatever corner comes before uh, means that we get a very bad exit out of the corner. You can see there as well down into turn four. Uh, the the cornering so bad that whatever you know whatever speed it has on a straight line is basically cancelled out. So we're gonna have to try and get inventive. I do believe on a move on Esteban Gutierrez, thinking of a of a very much a dive bomb at the up the inside there, but decide against it. Small lockup, but it looks as if we're going to get a very good traction on that left hander. We should be able to move, uh, make a move. Sorry, up the inside into this right hander, and up the inside of Gutierrez as we go up into P16. It certainly won't be points in this race here, this five lap race in the manor, but it's a pretty good showing from 21st on the grid. Looks as if we'll finish P16 uh, unless we can get a grip here on Fernando Alonso towards the line. But it looks as if the McLaren driver has got a much better run out of the corner, and despite that McLaren's deficiency in a straight line with its uh, Honda power unit. We should be able to uh, stay in P16, or Alonso should be able to stay in P15, and uh, that is how it ends. Alonso finishes 15th, we finish 16th, just about holding on in front of Esteban Gutierrez, who was closing in on us towards the line, but we do hold on to that position in front of the Haas driver. It's a Mercedes that wins, unsurprisingly, but that is about it for this gameplay. I hope you have enjoyed this gameplay around Brazil. haven't seen too much footage of Brazil, that's the reason why I uploaded this, actually. Because I haven't really seen anyone actually upload any footage around Brazil whatsoever. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I haven't seen too much myself. If you did enjoy this video, though, feel free to hit the likes button. Subscribe if you're new around here as well for more F1 2016 content in future. Obviously, career mode, sprint mode is now up and running, and I'm trying to do some challenge videos as well. Comment about enjoying the video if you enjoyed it that much as well. But it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a great day. Enjoy yourselves, and goodbye.